after this enormous AI revolution, there are some new programming languages that are getting trendy. And to survive in this great AI generation, you definitely have to learn these or you'll lose your job. Or maybe future job, ha. Huh? Anyway, there are many languages which are necessary for AI development, but if you are a beginner, then learning all these will sound like a impossible mission. So to make it easier for everyone, I have researched and compiled a list of the only five languages you need to learn in order to survive the AI revolution and get a job in 2024. Believe me, there are some languages in this list that you may not have even heard before. This language list is arranged from lowest to highest according to their trend and relevance in AI development. And the last one in this list is the language which was used to create ChatGPT. So sit down and watch this video till the end. Let's begin. Number five is Julia. Yeah, it's not a name, it's a programming language. It's coming in trends nowadays. Julia is a high level general purpose programming language, most commonly used for numerical analysis, AI and machine learning. One of the main factors that makes Julia so popular is how fast it is. Julia is said to be faster than Python in speed and performance. And what makes it even more appealing is that it's also an easy to use language similar to Python. Being easy to use while giving better speed and performance, of course, is getting popular. Number four is Java. Java is quite useful in AI development. Java is known for its faster execution speed compared to Python, particularly for complex algorithms and large data sets. It is valuable in deep and reinforcement learning. Java's object-oriented design and robust libraries enable the development of scalable and modular AI applications. Java code can run on various platforms without modification due to its write once, run anywhere philosophy. This simplifies deployment and maintenance across different environments, but Java is a bit harder to learn compared to Python due to its stricter syntax and object-oriented nature. This might discourage beginners in AI development. But overall, Java can be very useful language, especially for large-scale, enterprise-grade AI projects requiring performance, scalability, and security. Number three is Haskell. This is a purely functional programming language with type inference and lazy evaluation. If you don't know what this means, then let me explain. Basically, type inference is when the computer automatically figures out what types of data you're using in your code without you needing to manually tell it. And lazy evaluation is when expressions are evaluated only when their values are actually needed. If you use languages like PHP, even if you print just the value of the first expression, the other expressions are still calculated. But due to lazy evaluation in Haskell, it skips the expressions that are not required. Due to this, Haskell is also faster than Python. It also offers clean code, type safety, and code with less error. That's why it's rapidly getting popular and is being used in fields like research, industrial applications, machine learning, and also AI development. Number two is C++. C++ holds a strong position in AI development and machine learning. It is the supreme language in speed and efficiency, it plays nice with hardwares, giving you better control over resources, maximizing performance for tasks in AI. Plus, it supports object-oriented and functional programming. Its flexibility allows developers to choose the best approach for different AI tasks, increasing creativity and efficiency. C++ code can be scaled well to handle large-scale AI models and applications easily. Its compiled nature ensures portability across different platforms and operating systems, simplifying deployment and maintenance similar to Java. However, mastering C++ requires a deeper understanding of programming concepts and is less beginner-friendly. Number one is, of course, Python. Even though all the languages I talked about earlier were faster than Python, Python still comes on number one, and why not? It's the most popular language in the world. It's very easy to learn and beginner friendly. Many free learning resources and libraries are available, making it easier to get started with AI development in Python compared to languages like C++. Even ChatGPT itself is written in Python. It has rich ecosystem with specialized libraries, which can be used for AI, such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, NumPy, etc. It's kind of a compulsory language nowadays. You can't call yourself a programmer without learning Python. Well, you can technically, but not socially. If you need jobs, you need Python. It's almost a priority language. If you want a carrier in tech, never ignore Python. And with that, this video ends here. 
Thank you so much for watching till the end. Now watch the video on the right side to find out the 10 dangerous techniques which can be used to hack a website. I upload content related to tech, programming, hacking, etc. on this channel, so please consider subscribing so you'll find my awesome videos in your notification panel once a week. If you want to request a tutorial or video, just tell me in the comments. Anyway, I am soon going to upload a tutorial on how to hack NASA using HTML, so you may want to come back and see me. Thank you.